Hi everyone, welcome to Face to Face in the Base. You may know today's guest from uh, Sheer, I guess. It's Rabbi Moshe Lichtman. Rabbi Lichtman. Hi. Do you want me to sit here? Yeah, what's the problem? Oh, okay. No problem. Hi, Adi, how you doing? Nice to see you. Um, you just saw me this morning. I know, but I was just trying to be polite. You mean like how your publishers were being polite when they agreed to uh, put out your last book? Mm. I mean, seriously. More Ima Banin Smicha? Isn't it enough of this Aliyah stuff already? No, I don't really think so. You know, making Aliyah is a pretty important mitzvah. Making Aliyah is a very important mitzvah. Why are you being so nasty? I'm not. Okay. So, um... So you went to a co-ed high school, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, just checking on that. Okay. So what's this Tony Rabanan song you're famous for? <clears throat> well, I don't know if I'd really call it a song. It's just something I do when I'm learning. Can you sing it for us? Uh, I feel a little bit uncomfortable doing it in this kind of uh, venue. You're but... singing in Shira, right? Yeah, but that's different. Just so sing it. I really would rather not. Sing it. No, I'm not going to sing it. Sing it. Sing it. No, sing it. Well, sing it. Well, me. I will be. <clears throat> Maybe you should work on that anger management a little bit, perhaps with uh, perhaps with uh, this book. Yeah, that's, that's actually I wrote that book. You know that? <laughs> you did? Well, maybe uh, it's not worth it then. Okay, uh, Rabbi Lichtman, what do you consider to be your biggest accomplishment? Uh, I would guess I would say finishing Shas. Come on, no need to be sarcastic, Moshe. I'm not being sarcastic. I really finished Shas. Yeah, right. Okay, so why are you teaching a bunch of Shana Aleph guys? You know what? What what kind of show is this? I think you should leave. I think so too. Yeah. Okay, uh, welcome to our next guest. Uh, he's from New England, just like me, uh, Rev. Ram. Hi, Eddie. How are you doing today? That's a terrible Boston accent. But I'm not from Boston. It says right here, you're from New England. No, not New England. England. Britain. Oh, sorry to hear that. I'm quite like England. Okay. Um, so you teach the lowest year here, right? Yes. I see. What's wrong with that? You seem to be quite humble. Thank you. Or is that just your low self-esteem? Why are you being like this? Hey, Rakan is here! I can't believe it! Yago, for goodness sakes, you got our chair? Jeez. It's a Rosh Hashiva. It's over there. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Sir, Rakan, what brings you to my little show? A little show? Ari, are you kidding me? This is incredible! Excuse me, do you still want me here? Can you, can you give us a minute, please? He came all the way over to visit the set. The set? This is his office. Rav Khan, tell me about your kids in baseball league. Oh my gosh, Addy? They are just like me. All incredible. Amazing, just as I expected. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm really sorry, I gotta go. I don't have oh, time. I'm really busy. Yeah, I'm, I got a lot to do. Okay, I understand. Okay, you know, please have me back again. When you want a real guest? You know I will! This is the best! Bye! See ya! Later. Oh, brother. Back to you, you pompous jerk. Why are you being so nasty? You have a problem with me, Jake? Yeah. The thing is outside? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay. Let's bring out our last guest, Rob Herzog. It's Herzog. What's that? I see how you operate. You're trying to upset me by mispronouncing my last name. It's Herzeg, not Herzog. Well, the sheet says Herzog, old man. Can I take a look at that? Um, okay. Oh my goodness. You wrote this? Sure I did, why? You are clearly a very disturbed person. Hey, whose show is this anyways? You can tell from your handwriting that you have serious inferiority issues. No, I don't. Yeah, you put 
people down to make yourself feel good, especially your colleagues. Maybe you're putting me down to make yourself feel better about yourself. You're trying to impress people with your ties. You're trying to fish for compliments for, from your students. I do not. The symbolism is so obvious. Stop talking to me. The very thing that makes you feel good is literally around your neck, choking you. Maybe I just like ties. It's okay to admit, admit weakness, I <laughs> It's true! <laughs> Do you feel better now? I think so. You know, you're really a pretty nice person, even if you do work for Artscroll.